Lumen Legacy just released one of its biggest features yet in the history of the game known as Raid Battles. With Raid Battles, Lumen Legacy introduced this feature into the game a couple of days ago as a part 2 update to the Easter event that's currently being hosted in the game. The addition of Raid Battles comes at a very interesting time because while this feature is simply amazing and looks incredible, a lot of people have been expecting a different part 2 feature to be released which is known as Solburst. However, despite Solburst not being released yet, we are sort of given a small sneak peek into what solvers could potentially be because of how amazing the raid battle feature has been for Lumion Legacy. With the release of the raid battle feature as an event feature currently, Lumion Legacy went onto Twitter and they said a big announcement that you guys must hear that talks about the future of raid battles. On April 29th, the Llama Train Studio Twitter account went onto Twitter and said the following, Today we are releasing our very first raid battle to Lumion Legacy. This will be a first look at the system that is still a work in progress and will receive more changes after the event ends. Our plans for this raid system are to improve on it after hearing feedback from this event and bring it into Lumion Legacy as a permanent feature in both the story of the game as well as an activity that can be challenged at any time. Right now our raid can be played in one or two player teams. We hope to add more players per raid in the future. The raid system also covers three tiers of difficulty starting at a recommended level 35 and extends to a recommended max level. Each tier of difficulty within the raid system comes with its own loot pool with harder difficulties having a wider variety of loot to drop. So pretty much Raid Battles is an expected feature that will be added permanently to Lumion Legacy down the line. Of course, Lumion Legacy will not be giving a release date or a release estimate as to when Raid Battles could be permanently added into the game, but it is definitely something to look forward to and to keep an eye out for. I went up to Twitter and I said the following. What could Lumion Legacy do to improve Raid Battles or is it fine the way it is now? And over 100 people gave suggestions as to what Lumion Legacy could do to change Raid Battles. Now, I I want to go over the suggestions that caught my attention the most. Warm Connell said, they need to add something more interesting than a radiant egg. It's just an aesthetic. That said, the fact they add the feature means they could put way better loot into the game, which means the developers get an easier life. I definitely agree with the loot pool thing. Currently, there's technically three things to obtain from the loot pool. Number one, the item to evolve Drago. Number two, the Dragodine saddle. And number three, the radiant egg for Dragodine. After obtaining those three items, there's basically nothing else to do for the radiant battles. For more raid battle suggestions, Robert said to add 3-4 to four player raid to give better rewards and to make it so that you can catch the Lumion. Point number 3 is actually a very interesting point. I think that you should definitely be able to catch the Lumion as long as it's not corrupted. If you play the easy or the normal mode, the Dragodine is essentially not corrupted, but of course if you play the nightmare mode, the Dragodine is in fact corrupted. Kirby basically said more regular in-game items as rewards like Wisp Bottles or something like that. This is definitely something that Lumion Legacy should very much do. They should make it so that the Raid Battles gives you even better and even more loot. Some suggestions could be the Wisp Bottles, Boost Tokens, instead of one Power Fruit, many Power Fruits, instead of one Shard, many Shards, and of course more amazing different items. Chris said, two players is extremely difficult, especially when paired with Luzi and Jake. This is another thing that I was reading on Twitter. A lot of people are not really that skilled to take on the Dragonine and those who don't watch YouTube or don't read the wiki and don't know anything about PvP, a aka the super duper ultra casual players realistically stand no chance against this Dragodine. I don't know how easy the easy mode is, but I hope that you could beat the easy mode even so if you got no PvP experience in your background. Personally, I think that the raid battle feature in Lumion Legacy has been something very amazing and something very incredible to see. However, after 15 minutes of playing with the raid battle feature, there was nothing else for me to obtain. I obtained the Dragodine Saddle, the Golden Egg, and the item to evolve my Dorego. While this feature has definitely left a lot of people speechless and has definitely been amazing for the game itself. I think what Lumion Legacy should focus on for the future of this feature is to work on the percentages of the loot that drops from the raids, make it so that we can get even better and cooler rewards, and hey, maybe even make it so that we can get an amazing rare Lumion from doing these raids. With that being said, thanks for watching this video. I'm Armenti and we later.